Hallelujah. God bless you. I want to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with some of our sisters out there trusting God for marital settlement. You will discover that majority of them are more in love than the so-called man or the spouse they are in relationship with. And most of them, I, mean, I don't know whether to say that they spray to get married. As such, they are ready to do anything, even sleeping with the man, even removing pregnancies just to please a man to get married to them. Some are ready to do anything, use charm, go to altars, bath in the night, bath in the rivers. Why? Because you want a man to get married to you. But what pains me much is seeing a lady, you know that this man, in what something happened along the line, he decided to quit the relationship. And you see ladies, they are ready to die for the so-called man that have not even married them. Why? Is it that you are desperate? And the problem I have with others is that we put God last. A man said he's no more interested in the relationship. You want to kill yourself. You want to do go to places where they give you some charm to be able to bring back the man. You claim that you have a child for the man or the man has wasted your years. After all, you are the one that allowed him to waste your years. But the problem here is this. How are you so sure that that man will make you happy? How are you so sure that is the right husband God has programmed for you? How are you sure that this man in the long run, you will not regret marrying him, getting married to him? Why can't you patiently and pray, Lord, let your will be done concerning my marital life? Most of us don't come to that point of asking for the will of God. You want your will to be done. And that is why most times when we enter into the marriage, it ends in disaster. It's either the man kills the woman or the woman kills the man or they end up divorcing. What am I trying to say as a single lady? Put God first. If a man discover, you know, come up today and say that he's no more interested in the relationship, go back to God. If it's the will of God, you people will get married. If it's not the will of God, tell God, Lord, bring my own husband my way. Don't force yourself for a man to marry either because you're pregnant for the man or you have a child for the man or you're so much in love with the so-called man and you are ready to do anything you are ready to sacrifice pay any sacrifice just to get the man to get married to you remember on the long run you might regret it i want you to know that most times, God prevents us to marry some set of people because they want to protect our future. And you do not want it. You cannot see far off. You only see the present, but you don't see the future. So please, all our single sisters, put God first. Always pray for the will of God. Don't kill yourself that this person must marry me. Ask God, if it's your will, let it be. If it's not your will, let it go. And give me my own better heart that will love and cherish me that's the most important thing in marriage peace joy i pray that god almighty will give you the right man in jesus mighty name amen god bless you shalom have a blessed day